what's going on everyone thank you so much for watching today welcome back to the channel if you are not new here and if you are new here thanks for stopping by we are in our franchise zoo called tolly zoo and this is a franchise zoo that we've had going for quite a while we're playing on hard mode and a couple weeks ago now we added our southern white rhinos so this is the habitat as we left it last time we were actually in tolly zoo we were on a live stream uh, but these guys are right next to our African elephants so this is kind of our large large mammal area I guess so elephants here uh, Indian elephants here we have southern white rhino here and then we're gonna go do Indian rhino right over here so kind of these four habitats all side by side but today uh, we are gonna have a time lapse we are gonna jump into hopefully uh, making some progress on this habitat as well as starting the Indian Rhino because you guys really wanted to see that one. Um, I thought I saw this water was dirty at the beginning of the episode, but let's go ahead and see what we got going on because, yeah, uh-oh, I've had it paused for a little bit and that's never good. Um, but let's go ahead and look at our heat map really quick here. So yeah, this water is not being filtered. So let's take care of that first because I don't want that to get any worse. And we can probably throw this. Oh, actually, you know what? If we add it over here, it will get that. And if we kind of put it on this side of the building, as long as we make sure that the water in this habitat, if we are going to add any, is accessible, then I think we'll be okay. But if we bring this out and rotate it over here, we can kind of keep it hidden in this building and it will reach everything, which I think is perfect. Perfect, perfect. So yes, that will now filter that water on that side. I added that last minute when I built that habitat and I, I forgot, shocker, uh, to check that. So let's see what else we have going on here. Vet cannot reach habitat, probably because I didn't put it in the work zone. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the animals. Animal welfare has attracted protesters. What is wrong with our rhinos? Uh, nutrition, did I not give you a food bowl? Uh, but you have food. I didn't give them a food bowl, so let's do that first. <laughs> Whoops, I gave them uh, all their enrichment and everything, but I did not give them a food bowl. I'm pretty sure they used this one. So we'll go ahead and put one up at the top here. We'll smooth out that terrain just a bit because it's a little too jagged for my liking but we'll put that up there and then we'll make sure we have let me actually pause it because did i actually add keeper i did because you are assigned i'm pretty sure we did this yeah you're assigned to the rhino work zone so let's take a look at the rhino work zone uh edit work zone yeah rhino work zone is right there so you should be you should be okay because you have everything right here in close proximity. So maybe the keepers were just being slow. But let's go ahead and just request that you come over there. Um, do they actually have any water though? They don't. So that is a problem. Is that? Yeah, that's you. Okay, hold on. It's only severe because at the end of the stream, I was taking pictures and not paying attention to what I was doing. So just relax for just a second. We'll go to species and we'll go to Southern White Rhino. I'm pretty sure we can use that like large water trough, but I just want to double check just in case. Southern White Rhino. Um, yes. Oh, the small water trough. Or we can hide. What if we hide one of these? I hate how they look, but... Maybe we just hide it over here in this corner? Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, maybe right up here. Can we hide it? Oh, it can't go next to the barrier. That's a problem. Um, then what about right over in here? And we'll kind of make this... It does not look like it's large enough for a rhino. So maybe... I was going to try not to do water... But maybe we do actually turn this little spot into a water section um, because that little that it doesn't look like it's big enough for a rhino. It looks like it would be really, really small. So let's move this over here like that. 
And then let's see if I try to add water right now. Is there like a nat? Oh, that's valid, but that's going to fill up. <laughs> that's too much water. No, no, <laughs> not that much water. I'm just kind of curious how much that was actually going to uh, going to put there. So let's make this a little bit smaller, bring that down. And then if we flatten to this height, maybe we can give them a little watering hole right here because I know they don't swim, but they do like to kind of wade or wallow, right? So how about that? I think that's acceptable. And then we'll we'll do our normal, our usual concrete it out and make it look like it's an actual zoo thing. Let's go ahead and hit play. Really? Oh, because I hit the water the whole, <laughs> with the whole exhibit, they had to be boxed. Okay, we can calm down now. Let's make sure dangerous fighting uh, due to overcrowding. That is not the rhinos. That is our caiman. Goodness, we have so many caiman again. Let's see. Wow, we do have a lot of Cayman. Okay, so I don't like that menu. Let's go to the zoo and look at this menu because it's easier for me to see. Uh, Cayman right here. Let's go by age. So we've got our mail. You're in storage. Why do I do this? I feel like I'm so good at labeling. Hold on. I'm so good at labeling animals, and then when we go to the menus for every animal that has a problem, I haven't labeled them. So how about who is your mate, I guess? Parents, siblings, unknown. Do you not have current mate? None. Do you have a mate? Current mate? None. Okay. But, so this is Felipe and then, Ho oh, because you're a male. <laughs> Anna. Uh, let's see. Oh, that is Anna. I did. No, that's Felipe. I want Anna, please. Where are you? Not you. I want Anna. Is Anna not in the habitat? What about Lucia? Lucia is. So let's see. Can we compare mates and we want to compare with Jose, right? And just see 100% inbreeding. Okay, that would be bad. So we don't want that. Come back. I need this menu again. And I hate again that it doesn't save what we have selected. Um, let's go ahead and go by maturity again. So Lucia, your parents. So you, okay, you were born here. That makes sense. So then I'm assuming you guys are all the same, all the same age. So you know what? We might just, because I'm assuming you are also Jose's uh, daughter. Yeah, so these guys, let's go ahead and just release you guys to the wild. You're in storage because you're silver. Maybe you should be storage too because you're also a silver rating. So we'll do that. We'll release these guys to the wild. Goodbye. Have a good wildlife. Okay. Go back to Cayman's here, and then we'll put uh, Lucia in storage. Let's go ahead and put you in, actually, right here. Send to Trade Center. Great. Perfect. So now we have a male and female in the Trade Center, but let's double check one more time before I forget Cayman right here is Lucia... Uh, where is your family tree? Your siblings. Uh, so Eduardo is her sibling. So she won't be able to mate with him, unfortunately. So let's just double check who's... Uh, oh, it won't show me. Okay, whatever. That is okay for now. They should be, they should be okay. We'll hit play. That should hopefully work itself out. Um, now we have rhino, 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 and then, oh no, one of our African penguins in the water too and on his back. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, poor little guy. Come get this guy. That's such a sad position to pass away in. I don't want to look at that anymore. Let's go back to our rhinos and make sure they're doing okay. Did you guys get some water? Are we doing okay? It's going to rain, so there's there's more water for you. Um, social's okay. Group space is a little... Really? That, that makes it that worse. Okay, well, whatever. Habitat. Oh, hard shelter. You guys don't have any. Whoopsies. Um... You know what? 
we can probably take um i'm wondering if we can take this if they will be able to go under this because i actually do like this fence so let's just see that's that whole thing right and then we'll do this and we'll put that in one group and we'll copy this we'll have to adjust it but i'm just curious to see if they'll be able to traverse under this. The elephants can't, but the rhinos are a little bit smaller. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they won't be able to. We'll have to do some trickery with the terrain and stuff, but let's just see where, oh, okay, you're running. Where are you able? Yes, okay, so you can go in there. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Well, like I said, we'll have to raise the terrain and maybe what I'll do is I'll do a little like wall. Actually, let's not theorize. Let's just do it, right? We're doing a little bit of building anyway. So let's just go ahead and uh, um, do these rocks how I am envisioning them. I'm gonna wanna wait for sun anyway for the time lapse. So we have a little bit of time to mess around with this, but this will be kind of like our implied, implied backstage area. So we'll do that and then we'll do concrete. Oh, let's go through this roof. Concrete on the bottom and then maybe like a ramp, a ramp up. Mm. Or maybe that's just okay. Maybe that's just okay having it sloped like that. Cause my idea was, where's the terrain here? My idea was to kind of take it, make this a little bit smaller and maybe from like here and bring this up over here. But I don't want it to look so, like I don't want them to have to like hike a mountain every time they get pulled in here. We're gonna have to complete this as well. But I think, I think that looks okay. That looks all right. Cause if I bring it from all the way up here then I think it'll be too high and see how it's like a, a mound. But actually what we can do is we can bring all this up here and we can bring this out a little bit more and then we can smooth this way down. So they still, they come out and they have to run, run down. I think, I think that's all right. This toy is freaking out when we're moving this terrain around. But yeah, then we'll be able to concrete it because I actually, I really do kind of want it to be concrete. It'll match the other one and I don't know, it just kind of is a little bit more realistic to me, I guess. So we'll bring all this terrain up, all this terrain up to over here as well. And then what we'll do is smooth this out because that doesn't need to be there. Down a little bit more. Perfect. Actually looks kind of nice having this, the dirt go up against the, uh, up against the rock a little bit. These guys look kind of funny when they sleep. Like, like, can you just, does your neck also hurt watching these guys? Cause looking at, looking at this situation right here, giving me a neck ache. Ouch. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Uh, we need to copy this. Uh, dang it. It's all in one group now because we moved it over. So let me actually steal it from over here. That'll be, oh, it's all in one group over there, duh, because I made it a group before I brought it over here. Just kidding. I know how Planet Zoo works. I've been playing long enough. Let's see if I can't get, um, that actually should be okay. We'll just select all of this and bring it over so that it looks like they only have one entrance. Like so, that should be everything. Bring this out and rotate it. I honestly don't have any ideas for what we're gonna do for the Indian rhino habitat other than kind of just more of the same. So we may have to experiment with that a little bit so that we don't do like the exact same thing. Um, I actually haven't had a lot of time to look at any reference pictures or prepare anything. So we will we'll have to see um let me actually move this over so that it's like that and then we'll duplicate it like that so we have a little bit more of a barrier or border rather and it matches what we had over there bring this out again just like so and i think that is pretty perfect so let's make sure 
I know we didn't change anything. Yes, they can go in there. That is, that's perfect. So that actually makes up for their hard shelter. And what we can actually do too is bring these over in addition. So kind of put this back over here so that they, they have something that kind of looks like it's meant to be, right? Cause this is supposed to be like backstage area. But we can bring this over so it looks like this is actually meant to be where they get some of their shade and stuff. Oh, that actually looks really cool over the mud pit. I like that. What now? Oh, is it because you were brought in here and <gasps> we have a baby African elephant. Why did nobody tell me? Oh my gosh. Look at this little one. How cute. Or did I know about this and I just forgot? I don't think I forgot. That's so cute. I love him, her. Sorry, I love her. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, great, awesome. Anyway, back to our, our rhinos. Wow, even adding that, like look at how much better this habitat looks. This also bothers me. You need to be in the ground so I don't see you. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. How do you need a little bit more long grass? Really? Okay. Well, I can do that. Let's do long grass kind of around these trees. Maybe around here, around here. A little bit more. Really? Okay, great. Awesome. That is good. Your space is a little bit small, but that's okay. Awesome. But overall, you are much much happier. We'll fix these corners of the roofs too. Um, I'm thinking this needs another little support as well over here. So it looks like, uh, yeah. So it looks like this part of the roof is being supported like so, like so I spoke too soon. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, because it kind of matches that one over there. Great. Okay. That was somebody had matured. I think it was a tortoise fighting due to overcrowding. More? Goodness gracious. You guys are on a roll. Let's go ahead and pause it and take a look at our pygmy hippos. I was not intending for this episode to be so management heavy. So apologies for that. We'll get into the time lapse very soon. I actually might keep it paused because it's nice and sunny. Uh, but let's see. So we got our male and female. You guys are getting kind of old, to be honest. Um, let's see who this is by, yeah, maturity. So these are our oldest ones. These are our babies. You guys are in storage, but I'm pretty sure you guys are, I can't look at your stats while you are, um, while you're in there. Uh, or I'm sorry, I can't look at your family tree. Um, okay, let's go back over to here. We have alpha, female, Alpha male, female here. You, are you related at all? Parents? Uh, yes. So that is, this is a female. That's her father. So she cannot breed with him. I'm going to go ahead and release you into the wild. I'm going to release you into the wild. Wait, no, let's check. Parents? Yes. So you can go into the wild. And then I'm assuming you're the same parents. Uh, well, your father, yes. Okay, so into the wild, into the wild, into the wild. You're in storage. You're a baby. So that should fix everything. Getting more conservation credits. 485, that was not bad at all. Perfect. And vet cannot reach habitat again. Oh, that's right. Duh, short-term memory loss over here. I said I was going to check the, um, not mechanic research, thank you. Where am I going? Zoo and staff. That's where I need to go. Work zone. Let's check our vet work zones. So this is vet zone one and yellow means it's in another work zone. And if we go to vet zone two. Oh, okay. So it's not, it's not in, it's not in the vet work zone. Uh, that one is where we want it to be. So we'll go ahead and put both of those in there and let's go ahead and add an additional vet to both work zones just as a preemptive to make sure things are not going to go south. Uh, and also, whoops, no, I need vets, please. Um, so they won't go south, but also 
because I know we're going to end up adding more uh, habitats and things and I'm going to forget. So go ahead and play so these guys hit the ground. Great. And let's make sure you're paid the appropriate amount. You can be vet zone two and you paid the appropriate amount can be vet zone one. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and call over. Where is my habitat gate for this one? Oh, I hate when I put it in the wall. Really hard to select. Did I get it? I got it. Great. Uh, vet requested, vet urgently requested since we just got one. Great. All right, that should solve that. Let's not do speedy time. Uh, we have so many people on our zoo that we can't say hi to. It's such a bummer. What do we got going on over here? Souvenir profits earn yearly souvenir profits of $500. That should actually help because we added these guys back over here. Now I know there's not a lot of people back here yet, but when they get here, it should, should help. What happened? Serious injury. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I need a keeper. Or I need a vet. Sorry, not a keeper. And of course I... Are you... Yes. Okay. Vet is here. We are good. All right, guys. Uh, well, that was actually easier to kind of fix up than I thought. What if we get started on this time lapse? This building needs a roof. Uh, but other than that, I think we're pretty good on what we've got. I really like this area. The aesthetic of this this enclosure, these couple enclosures. So I really do like it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and, and jump into the time lapse. Let's get started. All right, so very quick and easy time lapse here. I think it's only about six minutes along or so. We basically throw together the rest of this southern white rhino habitat for the most part. I mean, there's probably obviously still going to be things here and there that we can tweak and make better, but just bringing over this uh, hard shelter for them as kind of like the backstagey, you know, kind of separation area that we had with the elephants, copying that over because it doubles as their hard shelter shelter but then also we did copy a few of the the african elephant shelters uh over into this enclosure as well my idea was kind of to make the southern white rhino and the african elephant habitats very very similar and then try to pull over pieces from the indian elephants uh to the indian rhinos because they i mean same region so kind of keeping them themed the same but also trying to just keep it cohesive throughout the zoo as well very simple backstage buildings, as you can see, uh, really simple roofs, but hey, at least they have a roof, right? We're not leaving it completely unroofed forever, as would be usual for Dolly Zoo. But uh, so got, got roofs on them. And then now we're moving on to the Indian. Uh, I always want to say Indian white rhino. No, Indian rhino and Southern white rhino, two different species. Savannah, get it together. <laughs> I always, always want to mix them up and combine the two. Uh, but but yeah, you can see here, just kind of copying it over and making it very similar, just kind of making it similar because I would imagine that it was built the same kind of time period in this zoo. Like they might've gotten this huge grant funding uh, and done all four of these enclosures at the same time. So they were obviously planned together and made to be cohesive. Uh, so that was kind of the thought behind that. Connecting up the path, which I actually end up disconnecting later on and forgetting to connect it again. And then it gets mad at me and I don't know why <laughs> you'll see that in the end part uh, and I figure out very quickly that it's because the path is not connected the keepers were yelling saying they couldn't get to the uh, couldn't get to the enclosure but question for the day for you guys is we stream as you may know if you uh, are not uh, new to the channel and have been around for a while we stream every Sunday morning from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and this Sunday I don't exactly have a plan um, I'm not sure what I want to jump into uh, we normally do jump into some Planet Zoo but was feeling maybe some Sims some Sims 4 but I want to hear down in the comments uh, which game and and whichever game you know what what are you in the mood for I was thinking maybe we could try another diorama uh, we could try a one-off habitat we could start a new project we could 
I don't know. I just, I have so many options right now and I don't really know exactly which one to kind of follow. So let me know down below what you think, uh, what you would like to see on Sunday or what you would like to see next. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, we've moved on to this platform here that's kind of raised. My idea for this actually is to kind of incorporate some more food. Uh, this is kind of sort of close to the Pygmy Hippo Cafe area, uh, which is still unfinished. We still need to go back and do that. Um, but thought this might be a, a better area for some more food for the guests. So making this raised platform, which will eventually be like outdoor seating is what I'm thinking. Um, I do end up making it smaller. So instead of two grid gridded squares wide it's only one but still need to make like some sort of restaurant or, or add the food and, and stuff like that but as you can see here as i was mentioning before pulling over the railings from the indian elephants over to this one so that there's similarities between those two habitats uh together to kind of make them feel cohesive um but yeah making this like a raised platform eating area and probably some sort of little cafe i'm kind of picturing in my mind if you guys ever saw the one-off habitat that I built for the Southeast Asia animal pack. Uh, the tapir habitat, we had the tap room or the tape room, however you want to say it. It was tap room, um, but it was supposed to be short for tapir. Um, had that little, little cafe. And I think that that might actually fit really well in Tali Zoo. So I'm trying to decide if I just flat out copy it over or if I build something inspired off of it. That building doesn't have any actual shops or anything in it. So we'd have to kind of retrofit it just a little bit to make sure that it fit. But I think that it could work. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you think about that as well. Moving on here to making a couple more custom little tree protector things. I realized that these big, what are they? The Brazilian nut tree, right? These like massive trees that I've never once placed without sinking them into the ground. Uh, realized that their trunk is much, much thicker than the original little protector things that I made. So I had to go ahead and just make new ones uh, real quick and make sure that they actually wrap around the trunks of the trees. Uh, again, being very aware that these animals would be destructive and so the trees would need protection slash be put behind a border or something like that or not a border put behind a barrier so that they didn't uh, destroy them and then very quickly putting this gate on and then adding some water and that's pretty much it so let's get back to it and just like that we have the majority of an indian rhino habitat yay <laughs> <laughs> nice, short, sweet little time lapse. I'm sure I talked about it, but um, didn't want this episode to be too, too long, but also wanted to make sure you guys got a nice, decent episode since I did miss last week's. So let's go ahead and look for Indian Rhino. Confirm. See what we have going on. Uh, let's actually search for not Southern White Rhino. That way I can see just the Indian White Rhino and I don't get myself confused. Okay, so it looks like our only options are for conservation credits. Let's double check with Zoopedia. They can have one to two. Uh, so that's all we need, okay. Um, so we just need a female. This is our only option. And then we do have enough for a male. Who are we going to take? Let's go ahead in the spirit of Tali, right? In the spirit of Tali, let's go ahead and take this one because we are all about the poor genetics, right? Raising them up to be better. Um, whoa, 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 what is this? Why do I already have one? Uh, okay, well, we're gonna release you into the wild because I don't know why I already have an Indian rhino. Uh, okay, well, that aside, let's go back to our animals here go where was that list storage is where i needed to be i needed to go to here and i needed to send them to the zoo and get them into quarantine fantastic so they are there we'll go ahead and hit play so they can go ahead and pass their quarantine oh no did he die already no he didn't I don't want to watch this. He's so sad. 
I hate when they die, and I feel like our otters are constantly dying. Wow, look at this crowd that's out here watching him. Don't look now. Go away. This is not what you want to see. Oh, poor little Manuel. Oh, and the sound effect, too. I don't think you guys heard that, but he, like, plopped on the ground. <sighs> Come get him, please. Vet cannot reach possible habit. You, you can. Vet cannot reach habitat, possibly due to your work zone setup. They can. I have assigned, I have assigned that to the work zone. I know I did because we just did it in the beginning of this episode. You died, I know, the vet's gonna go get him. Uh, mechanic cannot reach habitat. I thought the mechanics, oh, oh, this is why. It's not, why do you guys mislead me? Not you guys, sorry, the, uh, the game. Why do you mislead me? Possibly due to work zone setups. No, it's because I didn't connect the path. Plain and clear, simple, right there. <sighs> Stupid. Okay, we're gonna have to probably move the elephant entrance because <laughs> they get dropped off right in here and then they can't get out. So I'll probably move it to right over here. That way when they come out in a box, they're not like trapped in there because uh, that is causing a problem. Oh no, our pygmy hippo female. Uh, where am I? Here we are. God, this episode, man. Just dying animals. Oh, so sad. Now we need another female. Let's check and see what's going on with our, um, with our pygmy hippos. Uh, you have terrible genes, but let's see. We had a couple in storage, didn't we? We did. So you and you, neither of which are females. So that's a bummer. Um, what is happening right there? Oh my lord. What is go- That's not a problem for today. We're gonna go back to the pygmy hippos. And see what we got. Serious injury discovered. Come get him. Her. Him. Come get him, please. Um, you know what? Are the pygmy hippos okay in a single? Because what I might do is I might just wait for uh, Nuru to pass away and then we'll bring in one of the um, storage pygmy hippos. I think that's what we'll do. Let's just double check. Zoopedia says up to two. Well, you have a baby in there with you, so are you happy? You are happy. Is there more than one hippo in here right now? I think that might just be the only one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for him to pass away or until there's a problem. Uh, quarantine passed, yes. Go ahead and move to the habitat, please, over here. And we'll have to double check that they cannot escape because that would be bad. Um, quarantine pass, serious injury discovered. Goodness, what is with all these animals getting injured? Um, as soon as this, well, no, yes, I'm gonna, ugh. My mind is ping-ponging back and forth as to what to do. Um, as soon as this vet leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and change the entrance here. Okay, so get rid of that. And I know, I know, they're very upset, but just give me a minute, because I have a plan. There we go. Path, and get rid of that path, and connect you. So hopefully that didn't cause too, too much trouble. Are you guys still considered escaped? Where are you? Oh, you're considered escaped. Fix yourself, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna scare my guests. Okay, there we go, Whew. back to normal. All right, you guys, uh, yeah, that pretty much solves that. Uh, another tortoise is about to mature. Oh, you know what? Now that we have uh, a baby, or a baby, uh, oh my lord. Yeah, I was gonna say, now that we have uh, a baby enclosure, we need to be good about moving them to the adult enclosure when they become adults so that they're not in the baby enclosure anymore. My goodness, are all these guys on contraceptives? I sure as hell hope so, because this this could be a nightmare in the making. Uh, lemur has passed away, bummer. Uh, notice how, how not sad I am about the lemurs because they caused me such pain. <laughs> uh, no keepers assigned. Oh, really? Really? When I... Uh, I hate that because I moved it, right? 
Um, elephant work zone. What enclosure is this? Yes, this is an elephant work zone. So edit work zone and assign you back. There we go. Fix that. Okay, now for real here. Now I cannot see, <laughs> I cannot see notifications. Where are our Indian rhinos? Here they are. Here's one of them. One of them and not two of them. Okay. Oh, two of them right there. Great. Oh, look, they're different colors too. Let's just, let's just triple check that you're not making a beeline to escape. Uh, okay. Well, you're not. So great. You can escape over there, but not over here. Fantastic. You're just, you're just headed, jeez, into the water for a face plant. On that note, <laughs> if you did enjoy your swimming, I didn't know they swam. Weird. Okay. Anyway, on that note, you guys, thank you so much for watching this weird and a bit odd episode. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the Indian rhino habitat. Let me know what you think about the southern white rhino habitat and them together. We'll finish up this and then we are moving full steam ahead to fennec foxes right over here. That is our next step. Next step. Unless you guys have another idea that you are really, really sold on and want to see. But let me know. All of that belongs down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye!